From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big midday of LA with incredible great news about your forced stimulus check update of 2021. And breaking news with the recon, is the deal done? New reports and new interviews today, breaking right now, says that Democrats will be adding more provisions in there. This is incredible great news. LA told you so, Block the Road. More details of what happened on Thursday with Blocking the Roads and Infrastructure, and we see where it's going next week as well. The price is right 1.75, but that is not etched in stone. Breaking news at noon at afternoons right now. Programs in, programs out, more programs are being added in there. What happened? I have the latest details as Democrats look to beef up the recon with adding in provisions you've been looking to add in as well. It's incredible great news. Then more student loan debt could be forgiven by the weekend and by next week as the president is set to offer this as executive order and the Democrats could take it. Then COLA raises your benefits are going to go up. But that is not the stop because fist stimulus is right after that. We have those breaking details and more. We have the latest details from Rome as the president addresses the countries across the globe about climate. But the big climate right now is that it's Halloween. And with that, I'm very excited you're here. Uh, you know, if I don't scare you enough, I'll dress up as Chris and Sinema. <laughs> Kristen Sinema was asked about Halloween. Trick or treat, her answer was, I haven't really made my decision yet. I, you know, check back with me in a few weeks. I, and then when asked to knock on Joe Manchin's door for Halloween gifts, what did he give them? He gave them coal. <laughs> this is Afternoons LLA. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day and happy Halloween to you. It's shocking news as Democrats say what I thought they were going to say. After Bernie said the deal is not formulated, yes, we can still be adding things in there. Now nearly a dozen legislators say the same thing. New details about what happened with Ron Clay and the chief of staff to the president of the United States and Jalapal. It's breaking right now. This was about the roads and bridges and how the recon went first. Then the price is right. Not formulated and not solidified in stone. This is great news as programs could be added in and Democrats are scampering, rushing to get provisions in there. And we are ecstatic. I'm elated. Here we go. Then student loan debt, more debt could be forgiven across the board. This is big across for you and Americans that are in need of that student loan debt. We'll go over which it is. And then fifth stimulus, because guess what? It's right behind this as well. We got a big recording. It's a big afternoon. I'm excited you there. you're you here. I did not dress as Mitch McConnell because I did not want to scare my viewers. <laughs> and happy Halloween. And this is LA. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record and 140 million views and literally no vision out of this mask throughout the entire recording. So subscribe, 400,000 viewers, and like this video and consider becoming a member. Let's go over this incredible recon that you may have thought was passed several days ago, but wasn't. The president tried to make it look like the recon was etched in stone by what was only a framework. And now we know that it is a lot more at flux. This is great news because you wanted things added in there. But first, let's go over the broad stroke of where we are right now. This recon will pay you upwards of about $15,000, as the Egyptians would be very happy with this type of money. $15,000. Uh, pharaohs are just, you know, they're knocking at your door to get part of this recon. The $15,000 is for people who are single, people who are not single, people with children, people without children. And people who are on SSI and SSDI and disabilities, and also people who are not. Let's go over the three clusters of checks. This is across three clusters with the status of those clusters. But remember, it's the status as of now. I'll tell you what's in it now, but it's the status as of now. When you wake up after Halloween, 
<laughs> Trick, it was gone. Treat, it's back. <laughs> Those are the latest details, but let's get to it right now. Here we go. The three classes and three out ounce. Hazard pay survived. The earned income tax credit brought in the eligibility for one more year for those essential workers. Good. Then $4,000 of elder, elder pay survived. $4,000 for young children's care survived. Then they got money in there for the college students. The Pell's grant surviving by making it tax free and increasing it by $550 approximately. They got money in there survived for repairing the home if it's in a low income community. This is huge news and this is part of the home grants of the for stimulus. Then the CTC broadened this for more and more year. This is for $3,600 or $3,000 a child for one more year if you make $60,000 or less. And then the exciting details of the bikes, cars, and trucks, all electric, all U.S. auto manufactured. 15% for the purchase of a new electric bike, $7,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. If it's for personal use, a little bit more for business use. This is a pre-Trump order, a pre-Trump law. They're extending it from the Obama generation for another 10 years. There you go. First cluster, great news. Most of the items survived in the first cluster at their original payouts when it was passed a subcommittee several weeks ago with $3.5 trillion. But now at $1.75, they're still in there and still paying out. Well, the first add-on comes from the wonderful Maxine Waters from Southern California. She had proposed $25,000 for the purchase price of the first home. Did it survive at this price point? No, not at $25,000. Likely, potentially a little bit less. If not, it's not in there. But the other items for housing did get in there, which is home repairs. Uh, money for the first cluster of home repairs, for the second cluster coming up in a second, and then rent and mortgage and utilities. It's deliciousness. Let's go to the second cluster and let's go over the status of those right now. So the second cluster has paid family leave, medical leave, gone. Child care program surviving, household tax credit surviving, pre-kindergarten in there, community college gone, and then money to weatherize your home surviving. So that was pretty good. Most of those provisions survived. The weatherizing your home, definitely need to weatherize your home, especially before Halloween, uh, because especially if Kristen Sinema comes knocking in your door and you knock and it's Kristen Sinema uh, and you offer her candy. She's like, no, I need campaign donations. <clears throat> Got to close the door. Lock it. Don't open it till next year. <laughs> there you go. That is the second cluster of checks. The second add-on survived, and this is one of the big successes. This is a Joe Biden presidential promise. This was a Bob Casey, Democrat from uh, Pennsylvania, promise. And they wanted to do a $250 billion. It didn't survive at $250. Rather, it's going to be at about $175. It is free home health care. Wow. Free home health care. If you're if you're a senior or a person on disability, it survived, and it's incredible. More about that coming in the later in this video. Stay with me because I have a lot coming up later in this video. A lot of breaking news. It is brand new today. You would think there would be nothing on a weekend. I told you. I told you. CNN went to Rome. Of course, Georgia. <laughs> If you could get out of Atlanta or Rome, which one would you choose? Well, I'm here, and that is why you're seeing so much breaking news. There is a lot today. Stay with me. Let's go to the third cluster. This is where the fatalities happen. Several programs falling apart. Let's go over the details. Free school meals for all survived. Cheaper prescription medication died. Then farmers, I don't think it survived. Free internet may have died as well. Clean energy gone. Workers protection like independent contractors. I don't know. And then dental vision hearing and expanding Medicare. Let's do that on air. This is a little bit complicated. First, the expansion of Medicare across 50 states survived because Raphael Warnock and Jim Claiborne got the workaround that pay for to make sure that every state has it and that Republican states couldn't get it for free because they were endeavoring not to pay for it. Expansion of Medicare down to 50 or 55 or 60. I don't think it got in there. I think we would have heard it if it survived. Dental vision and hearing, only hearing survived. Free hearing aid for those Medicare recipients. But I got a lot on this coming up late in this video. Stay with me. You're going to be shocked. I'm ecstatic. I am ecstatic. You can't see it through the mask because, you know, pharaohs just never have. Uh, am I a pharaoh or am I a Mardi Gras person? I just don't know. You can choose which one I am. So long as I'm not Nancy, I'm good. <laughs> Here we go. The third add-on, which is MSC. That MSC is incredible. That monthly IRS stimulus check, there's still room to get it in there because guess what? You're going to see in the second half of this video that legislators, both House and Senate, saying we're adding provisions in there. This is big. And the big details is that Chuck Schumer's office told Donnie this week again 
along with Liz Warren and another office, it wasn't Bernie, it was someone else I can't remember, that he's inserting that IRS monthly stimulus check provision. This comes after he told Donnie's wife the week before and Debbie Applegate the week before as well that he's inserting it across the board. You have a very fluid situation. For anyone that may have seen the president address the American people on Thursday, thinking that was it, that's all that's in there. No, I told you then. And now the door is literally opening up and the floodgates are filling in with the pharaohs opening, parting the uh, parting the Red Sea or the Blue Sea or the Purple Sea so that more items can get into that Raycon. I have all those incredible details, but now let's look at that statement of advocacy. That statement of advocacy is so important as we go into the second half of this video. The sake of advocacy is from the number one legislator in the equation. His chief of staff says you need to keep on advocating. They now have in total between the congressional and senatorial offices received more contacts of advocacy from the LA Purple Power than the number of signatures in the American petition. Everyone's amazed by the outpouring of touching stories. Now they have a better understanding of what Americans are going through through this pandemic. They have heartbreaking stories from the LA viewers and they have the voice of the people across the nation in you, LA as you have become too loud to be ignored. Well, if you ignored me before, you're definitely going to ignore, you ain't going to ignore me in this outfit. <laughs> Let's read the last sentence on air. Please continue your encouragement for the continued advocacy as a professional voice of the people that you have become LA and continue until this becomes a law. It's a weekend, but remember, you can leave a voicemail on their voice messages. Easy breezy. As Jennifer, a wonderful longtime viewer of this channel, said in no less than three videos yesterday, she interrogated fellow viewers. I love it. She said, how many offices did you call today? I love it. Absolutely need to call because the path is far from over. In the second half, you're going to see breaking news. You are going to be a delighted whiff. It is treat. It is not trick. The great news is that more deals uh, deals could be happening and negotiations are continuing. Senate Democrats are now adding provisions to the recon this weekend. I told you they were going to take the lead, more so than the House Democrats. And then we have new details of what happened with Ron Klain and Jalapal. I had put Ron Klain in our non-favorite people. Now I'm putting him back in our favorite people. I did not know he really had Jalapal's back on this. All the latest details. The price is right. We could go higher than 1.75. What's going on? Programs in, programs out. Of the rundown, the programs that are in, the programs are out. But you're going to be surprised as more Democrats are proposing to add programs to this. Student loan debt forgiveness, more debt could be forgiven. And then fifth stimulus. We got a lot coming up in the second half of this video. I'm very excited for you. Those details are coming up as we go into the second half of a big afternoon to LA with congressional leaders working this weekend to add provisions to the Recon, I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement is happening right now as the president's in Rome meeting with the Pope and the G20 leaders about climate. But a deal could be happening in the recon that is broader than we were debuted no less than several days ago. I'll have the breaking details on that. LA told you so. The cola could be coming up. 
but guess what? Fifth Stimulus is right behind it. I have the latest details on that. Then your student loan debt forgiveness, more debt could be forgiven across the board. Whose debts are coming next? I'll go over the offer from the president. Then the big details that you've been wondering across the board is whether that recon was stuck at 1.75. It's not. There's new indication that the recon could go bigger and bolder than ever than that. And then programs in, programs out. All the latest details on the programs that are in and the programs that are out. And why Democrats are inserting more provisions across the board as the president is in Rome. When in Rome, do what the Romans do. Modify the recon. <laughs> Those incredible details and more as we go into a big second half of this video. The exciting details across the board are heating up. I'm very excited you're here. And with that, thank you for joining me on a big afternoon's L8. So subscribe. 4,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Coming up later is Evenings L.A. I expect it to be a totally different video than this one. It's brand new today. And then we got shows at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11.30 across the board today. All about your recon. Same programs. And then watch for that wonderful sirloin debut <laughs> live from Rome. Incredible details. And let's turn back to who started the ball rolling. The man who started the ball rolling was Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders told press yesterday that the recon was not done. When asked whether he would vote in favor of the recon, he said, I'm not going to answer that. But when asked, are you adding provisions in there? He said, absolutely, I'm adding provisions in there. Now, let's go over the provisions that Bernie wants to add in there because it's incredible. And But let's first start with the breaking news. The breaking news is that legislators beyond Bernie Sanders... Nancy Pelosi, and also Josh Gothenheimer, which was the three as of Friday, we now have nearly a dozen legislators who say, I'm adding stuff in there. Chris Coons says, of course, there's going to be a dozen proposals that folks are going to be making to add stuff in there. Democrat senator from Delaware, then Ron Wyden, who got his provision to tax Elon Musk, thrown out like a bad, uh, like a bad, uh, you know, rocket. Uh, Ron Wyden said the deal is not done until the Senate acts, meaning his group, his senators, and that he will continue to add in the provision of a surtax on ultra high net worth individuals. There's a significant amount of t amount still to do. Let's read that quote again. That's huge. Ron Wyden saying there's a significant amount to do. What's going on here? Let me back up so you understand the scenario of what's going on. This may sound a little confusing to you, so I'm going to explain it slowly, and you're not going to really hear this anywhere else. I want you to understand this because this is breaking news. This is really right now, and it takes putting pieces together to understand this. Why did the president try to make a sound like there was a deal on Thursday? Because he just wanted to have a deal, because his poll ratings were going down, because he just wanted to make it look like it's progressing, because he wanted to get Sinem and Mansion locked down? No. New indications I have unearthed on this channel are that the president in the meetings this weekend in Glasgow has to commit the United States to a reduction of emissions by a certain percentage in the next 10 to 20 years. Every country has to do that. That are in attendance. They have to submit it. Well... To do that, he needed to have a, a, a facade or a presentation that the climate part of the recon, and hence the whole recon, was functionally done. Otherwise, foreign leaders would say, you don't have your recon done, it's sort of still in limbo. He needed to go into those meetings saying, I have committed this reduction of emissions in the United States because the agreement among all these countries is do it by at least 50%. The United States, I think, is like 55%, 60%. Some countries like Europe, I think it's at 75%. But you had to go in these meetings saying, we have this on, we have this on board. Going into the meetings and having them say, Chris and and Joe Manchin have agreed to it, you don't have anything that would not have looked good. So why, that is why the president tried to make it look like he had a recon deal on Thursday when he really didn't so that he could go into the negotiations with these world leaders to this weekend in Rome to make it look like that. Once the meetings are over and he comes back, he doesn't have to worry about that imagery anymore. This is breaking news. This is exclusive to this channel. 
It's the combination of John Kerry's interview on another station and my reporting of the recon. You put them together, then you understand what the president had to do going into the meetings. All right, now let's go back over to the comments that uh, what they're doing. Here comes Chris Coons says that the bill may still change. There are, of course, going to be proposals and for people going to make changes. Jalapal says if senators are able to come up with a decision that is better for 50 votes, we welcome it as House members and they should do that work. She says, moreover, in this weekend that senators are actually texting her on her cell phone saying they still want to negotiate about some of the provisions of the recon that are not in there or are in there and they want to make them bigger. Yes, there you go. That's why you should be texting Jalapal yourself about that IRS monthly stimulus check. AOC says any sort of commitments in the Senate is actually going to have to be able to pass. But there's an open willingness to negotiate what this certainly looks like. But we need a little bit more than an IOU. So she says negotiations are continuing. Then we have Debbie Stable now from Michigan says, I do not I do see some changes and fine tuning going on. Chuck Schumer, moreover, says that there will be modifications. He says next week he's looking to get the House to finalize something a little bit more detail. But he says that the Senate parliamentarian has still not ruled on specific provisions of the recon. And this means that the recon is not finished. <laughs> And guess what? If the Senate parliamentarian says some provision needs to come out, guess where that money can go? It can go to us. Just don't go. let it go to the pharaohs <laughs> or the, uh, the Mardi Gras headdress wearers. John uh, Bob Menendez, who is a Democrat from uh, New Jersey, I featured him in, in the Liz Warren Chuck Schumer video a few months ago. He says that the parliamentarian is, is still looking to make revisions to the recon. Wow. And then Chris Murphy, Democrat from, uh, from Connecticut, says, my impression is that it's not going to change a lot, but it's still going to change. There still be will be some adjustments to be made here. Wow, there you go. It started with Bernie Sanders, and Bernie Sanders had the incredible comments on Friday. Bernie Sanders on Friday told the Democrat told the press that he's adding provisions in there. Which ones are they that he was going to add in there? Provisions that would potentially bring the recon to a price point higher than 1.75. That number is not etched in stone, not at all across the board. It's important to understand that that price point is not done. But let's go back before we go to the price point about something that we did not know until today. This is breaking news. I had featured Ron Klain, who is the president's chief of staff, in the not favorite zone because we were told on Thursday that it was Ron Klain who had asked for the vote on the roads and bridges on Thursday. Not at all the case. We now know what really happened. And boy, this is delicious. The president of the United States had said after the last attempt in September from Nancy Pelosi to call the roads and bridges for a vote and having it fall apart that there would be no final there would be no future vote on the roads and bridges until the recon is passed and agreed upon. That was the president's promise. So, what did Ron Klayan do on Thursday? We're now learning that Ron Klayan made phone calls to Jalapal and had been making phone calls to Jalapal all week long that said, don't worry, the president will not ask, not ask to call the vote on the roads and bridges this week, that his priorities still remain with you. In fact, sources now indicate that Ron Klain never speaks to the moderate Democrats, is not really close with the moderate Democrats, but speaks with the progressives nearly every single day. It all boils down to the fact that the president did not ask for the roads and bridges to be called for a vote, says Say Hoyer. Says a person uh, close to Hoyer. This is not on the record. This is something Hoyer said during conversations. What's at issue is that after Thursday, Pelosi, Steny Hoyer, and also um, Majority Whip Jim Claiborne was very, were very angry. They wanted to call the vote on the roads and bridges. They did not have the call or the request from the president. It all boils down to there was an ask from the president. And because the president didn't ask for a call on the roads and bridges, Jalapal was able to block it. We do not comment on private conversations with lawmakers, but the president's fighting every day, says the official statement obtained by Ally Today from Andrew Bates, the White House spokesperson. But Jalapal, her official quote was, the president talked about both bills, but he never said, I want the roads and bridges to be called for a vote. He did not call for the roads and bridges to be called for a vote. Nancy Pelosi did. Oh, 
Pelosi versus Pramila's heating hop. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, let's go over the programs in and the programs out because, boy, we are heating up. And it heats up with those comments from Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders on Friday said there's a lot of programs missing. But let me tell you the first, second, and third that need to go back in. When asked, are you not supporting the recon? He says, I can't answer that question. That's not that's not respectful. I can't do that. But I will tell you, it's a good bill. It needs to be better. Missing from Bernie, prescription medication. Second, money for dental. Number three, money for vision. Let's go over the prescription medication. The prescription medication makes no sense. Let me explain the situation of the prescription medication. The prescription medication on Wednesday evening had one provision in there, lower prescription medication for Medicare Plan B, which is for people who are on uh, diabetes, like insulin, very expensive medication. It was in there, lower prescription medication costs. But you and I know that over the last three months, Kristen Sinema, who has uh, the big pharma in her pockets, was trying to block an expansion of lower prescription medication costs. So the president was negotiating with her for months and months and months. Wednesday night, we had Medicare Plan B in there. And then the president makes the phone call to Chris Sinema, a last-ditch effort to expand the Medicare eligibility, uh, to, to expand the prescription medication, lower costs across the board to other Medicare plans. He wanted it bigger, not just Medicare Plan B. Very clear? Yeah. He makes a phone call. She finally agrees. What a, hum more, a humongous, yeah, I know it's not a word, what an enormous achievement for the president, one of the best achievements in the negotiations. No one really covered in the broadcast media, buried in one article. Why? Because you woke up Thursday morning, and cheaper prescription medication, gone. What do you mean gone? Yeah, even the Medicare Plan B, gone. Everything, gone. The president brought it. Kristen Sinema brought it. Joe Manchin, not against it. Bernie, you in favor of it. Nancy Pelosi, in favor of it. And then you wake up Thursday morning, it's gone. Who removed it? Who ate it? Did Sirloin eat it? It's really unclear. No one is telling us who removed it. No one remo is telling us how it got removed. Bernie Sanders, furious. Not only did he have less than Wednesday, he has nothing. He says, will I support it? I'm not going to answer that question, but I'm going to make the best I can to make a good, big, a good bill better. What happens here is that there are major gaps in the recon, his exact words. He says, we have, uh, we have as legislators, as senators, year after year, tried to expand med, uh, the, the, uh, prescription medication. It's unconscionable that we talk about a higher prescription medication costs every year as the senators and we don't take care of it. We need that. We need family leave and medical leave, which is Nancy Pelosi's provision. We need that in there. We need hearing aid. We need dental, vision, hearing, and we need prescription medication costs. That was the first one. The second one was the dental, vision, and hearing. Now, you heard on this recording that the vision, that the hearing is in there, but not the dental and the vision. This is very, very strange. You're looking at this recon. You're worried that maybe the price point is too high, 1.75. It's a very fluid price across the board. It can go higher. But if you're trying to get things in there, which is the cheapest of the dental, vision, or hearing? The vision. So why did the vision not go in there when many more Americans who are seniors need prescriptions and new uh, eye exams that don't cost a lot? Eye exam, $50, uh, new, new glasses, $100, $110. That's $160 a year. Hearing aids, several hundreds of dollars. What did they get in there? Hearing aids, the second most expensive item. Not really clear what happened. And then the dental. This is very, very peculiar because the president had said, I can't do dental for 10 years. Let's do it for three years. And then the president said, let's do vouchers, $800 a year. I said it was not enough. Nancy Pelosi in favor of the $800. You wake up and suddenly there's nothing for dental, nothing for vision. It doesn't make sense that those were out and hearing were in. Not that hearing's bad, but he vision is more broadly needed because a lot of people start needing vision assistance in their 50s. They may not only have hearing problems until they're 70 or 80 years old. So Bernie Sanders has the best bill since the 1960s, but major gaps in the American people are sick and tired of paying for higher prescription medication. There is a language they're dealing with for higher pre prescription medication. I'm, ex I'm glad for the expansion to cover hearing, but people need dental and they need eyeglasses. Bernie going to roll over? No. These other Democrats going to roll over? No. This is great news. I hope you are ecstatic. Because when we look at the programs in, we look at the programs out, now more legislators are saying, you know what? My programs were removed. I'm not going to sit back and accept that. 
an, an insider says the president does not have enough votes. And that may be beyond just Sinema and Mansion. Let's go over the programs in and programs out at the time of this recording, because the situation will change as the negotiations continue all weekend long. Universal pre-kindergarten in. Oh, before I start, let me go over something which is very important. You may think that the president knows what's in the recon. You've been with me for a, lot, a while. When the president has his press conferences, he often leaves things out. He doesn't want to give you a rundown. He's giving you a summary. Number two, you would think Jan Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, would know what's in the recon. She doesn't. She appeared on broadcast media on Friday, and she referred to some programs that were running one year as a lifetime, you know, generational, running for, you know, multiple generations. They're running for 12 months. And then we had Chris Coons, who literally couldn't even understand what was in the recon. So I want you to understand that these legislators and these cabinet members are a little bit often uh, not well briefed, <laughs> to say it politely. Universal pre-kindergarten, got it in there. This is three to four-year-olds, it's one year. Helps six million Americans nationwide. Child care, we got it in there. Uh, the earned income tax credit for those hazard pay workers got it in there for one more year. Then uh, the uh, child, ta child tax credit got it in there for one more year. Uh, Oh, this is something I'm just seeing for the first time. I don't know if this is accurate. This is something I'm seeing for the very first time in this recording. I had told you it was for $60,000. It looks like they may have broadened it to families who make $150,000. I thought that was not in there. Maybe it got in there. I'm surprised to see this in front of me. Home health care. You know, we got it in there. Uh, this is the uh, home health care free for people on disabilities and seniors. The the writings I'm looking at says it's in Medicaid. I don't know if it's also in Medicare. The hearing is in Medicare and Medicaid. Then expansion of Medicaid across the different states. We got the money in there as well for those home repairs. And we got uh, we got those uh, monies for uh, ho housing assistance as well. $150 billion for expanding affordable housing. And that is construction rehab and improvement of more than 1 million affordable homes. Pell's grant increased by $550 for more than 5 million students. The money for uh, ch children's food, they're going to get free school meals during the school year and then $65 per month not during the school year. I make that a little bit clear for the first time on Afternoons LA because now I'm understanding a little bit better. Uh, there we go. We went into the weekend with Bernie with his comments, but who also had comments? Nancy Pelosi, ironically, uh, wants to add other monies in there as well. What does she want to add in there? She wants to add in there the paid leave and paid uh, family leave. What is paid family leave? Your wife's pregnant. If you go to any country around the globe and your wife's pregnant, you, or you can get paid time off to see the birth of your child. Not in the United States. It's shockingly disgraceful. We don't have it there. That's what pay family leave. Pay medical leave is your son breaks your leg and he has to stay at home and you have to stay home to, from work to take care of your son. Do you get paid for that? No, not in the United States. That's what pay medical leave is. So Nancy Pelosi proposed that 12 weeks for everyone, all income levels, and whether you're an employee or a 1099, a Uber, Lyft, independent contractor, gig worker. Great news. They couldn't do 12 weeks. So then she got it down to four weeks for employees only low income. I don't like that. I would have liked it for low income four weeks for all types of workers, whether you are low income Uber Lyft or low income employee. And then they removed it. This, we know, came from Joe Manchin. Now, um, Bernie Sanders says that number one priority in Americans is being ripped off by big pharma paying 10% more than prescription medication in other countries. And then number two is that people do not have teeth and they do not have a vision. Let's go over some of the other provisions in and out and let's go over some of the details of them starting right now. Those details start with the money for uh, hazard pay, which got in there for that earned income tax credit for broadening the eligibility for my essential workers. But they also got other items in there, which I haven't gone over as well. So community college out. The Pell's grant expanded it for 550 and then making it tax free. The child tax credit one year. I have my in my notes it's sixty thousand dollars or less, but I guess some place in broadcast media they say it's hundred fifty thousand or less, which would be higher. The paid leave out, the prescription medication out, the child care in there, less number of weeks, clean energy out, health insurance in there. One viewer said, please advocate for that health insurance because my health insurance just got expired. And they got it in there. Great news. Housing aid in there, $175 billion. Great. They went to 300 They got it in there. And the 
the home health care got it in there. And then Gothenheimer, he wants to put in there a relatively popular provision, ironically. It's lifting the cap on state and local tax deductions. Definitely need it in the big states like California, New York, New Jersey, Florida, Texas. He wants it. He's in New Jersey. It's out. He says it's going back in there. So very, very fascinating situation about the board. I have my opinion of the situation coming up in a second. But first, let's turn to student loan debt forgiveness. More debt could be forgiven by the president by executive order. The president has proposed to forgive student loan debt uh, of $10,000 across the board. Democrats should take it. The president's already forgiven three rounds of student loan debt. First, he forgave student loan debt for individuals who became disabled after graduation. Then the president forgave student loan debts for individuals who went to work in the nonprofit sector for 10 years after graduation. But the great news is the president forgave student loan debts for people who went to work in the public sector for 10 years after graduation. This is for people who work in the city the county, the state, and people who work for the Mardi Gras. <laughs> Your debts have been forgiven, so you can give away those beads now. <laughs> uh, yes, but the president's proposing to forgive $10,000 and more student loan debts across the board. The Democrats should take it. Then the COLA raise. Your COLA raise has been announced by Social Security Administration between 5 to 6%. It's about 5.9%. Your benefits are going up 5.9% next year, but get ready for fifth stimulus because it's right behind it. And this is where it's getting very exciting. People always ask me, why talk about one while we're talking about another? Because fifth stimulus can start now while they're still doing fourth stimulus. House Budget Chairman John Yarmuth, in fact, started the ball rolling a few days ago. Last week, he spoke with Nancy Pelosi about doing it, and he wants it for all this money for my seniors, my SSI and SSDI reform, and he wants to force it by recon so the Republicans vote against it and then take it to the midterms and say, hey, Republicans didn't want to help your seniors. I don't see what's a downside in the election year because we're trying to do things that are really popular. Number one, they raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, rare old benefits. Then they apply a new benchmark. The new benchmark is inflation. And where is inflation going? It's going 1% to 3%. You didn't have enough time, or I didn't have enough time this last week to really go over all the inflationary news that came in from Wall Street. But listen, it's not going to be temporary. It's not going to be transitory. Fed Chairman Jay Powell testifying next week twice. It's going to be a big week for Jay Powell. He's going to say inflation is not temporary. And that is big for your recon, for your fourth, fifth stimulus recon, because you'll be tied to inflation. COLA may likely be 0% next year. So let's do the analysis. First, your benefits will go up under COLA. First, going up under COLA. Then you'll go up another step under fifth stimulus, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, veterans benefits. Then they'll apply a new benchmark. The new benchmark is inflation. That means you'll go up three times in one year. Incredible details. Then... How about those other items? Yes, the asset cap going away, the marriage penalty going away, and the income cap going away. Love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest and no longer fear loss of benefits. And with that, if you haven't become a member, what are you doing? The membership link is under the video. Consider becoming a member today to become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power Calcino VIP. The membership link under the video is important because members are delivered money through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the membership newsletter, which features all the big money under first, second, and third stimulus. Third stimulus will return to this channel in the next few days as fourth stimulus settles down. It's still paying out money, rent, utilities, food, internet. In that as a part of membership, Monday through Friday, you get that Allied newsletter. It features the rent, the utilities, the mortgage assistance. It features the SNAP, which is money for food. It features the homelessness into shelter, the statement of more money from Treasury, the nonprofits, all five of them, that are helping for appliances like heaters and portable uh, furnaces and fixing broken windows, clothing, and more. If you've gotten sums of money from this channel before, get other sums of money. As soon as third stimulus became a law, I said to viewers, I'm going to get you about $15,000. I got average viewer from this channel about $40,000 from the third stimulus. When fourth stimulus becomes a law, I'm going to be here to get you all the sums of money in fourth stimulus that you've seen in this recording. So if you're wondering, how do I get this? How do I get that? I'll be here to ensure you get all the sums of money. And with that, let's go into my final commentary, which viewers say has been very helpful across the board in recent days. My commentary is less commentary, but really more bringing it all together to explain to you how it fits together. Where are we right now? Where you are right now is the presence in Rome talking about climate. It's not a, a trivial meeting. 
It's a meeting in which they're determining a rules book, a rules book as to how countries will operate regarding climate. This is lowering emissions across those countries. Those countries consume 80% of the emissions of the world. Going in those meetings, those countries were to commit a certain amount of reduction of emissions in the next 10 years in their country. How do you commit it? Well, you would normally have a law. The president doesn't have a law. You would have a bill. The president doesn't have a bill. What do you do? You have a breathman and a binder. <laughs> no, he had to look like he was really doing something. And that's why I explained in this video, you're not going to hear this really anywhere else. I was in this morning up early, and I was listening to a brilliant interview from John, Jim Carrey. Uh, Jim Carrey. <laughs> I was listening to a brilliant interview from Jim Carrey about the mask. <laughs> uh, John Kerry, <laughs> your, your, your climate czar, who's a special envoy for climate, and he said, we have to commit this going into the meeting. You put apples together and oranges together, and then you have a fruit salad. No, then you have an understanding of why the president did what he did on Thursday. He's trying to get the recon rushed along. I got it. He's tr but he's not focused on the roads and bridges. The roads and bridges repair is over 10 to 20 years. Let's be frank about this. That's when the roads and bridges repair happens. It's over 10 to 20 years. They're not spending the money on the roads and bridges all in this year. Let's make free frank about that. Number three, the job creation of the roads and bridges is complete nonsense. The jobs for roads and bridges is done over 10 to 20 years. It's very, 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 very slow. That's why the Republicans like the recon, the roads and bridges. It just goes in, stat, in a very, very slow process. So it's not a very big hit to the economy. It just takes its time. It, it's a very slow process. The recon is right now. The recon is right now. And that is why he left that recon at 550. Now, did he make a mistake? Yeah, he should have put the climate in his own recon. I got it. Can the recon go higher? <laughs> oh, yeah, it can. Can the recon go less than 550? It can, but not before he leaves Rome. He will be back from Rome before the recon and negotiations are over. Yeah, you see where I'm going with this. That's not to say he can have another recon next year, fist in which he does more climate, take a little bit out of this climate, a lot out of this climate, and dedicate it to other programs or recalculate things. They're trying to figure out how provisions work. What's important to understand is that I understand viewers sometimes watch my emotional reaction to programs for them to understand whether they should be happy or disdained whether they should be positive or concerned. I'm ecstatic, I'm elated, and you can't see it because I'm wearing a mask, a darn mask. <laughs> but I'm ecstatic because I had on with on video yesterday for you, three legislators, Bernie, Gothenheimer, and Pelosi saying making changes. Now I have a sea of Democrats on a weekend where broadcasts and print media does not have a full news office open. Imagine how many people I have on record now on a weekend. Guess what? They're not in session today. It's the weekend. They're, they do trick or treat. Uh, yeah, more trick than treat. <laughs> and the fact that we have so much great quotes from these legislators on a weekend, I'm ecstatic. If there was ever a time to advocate, it's now. There's room to get a stimulus check in this recon. There is room to get a stimulus check in this recon, which is more than uh, prescription eyeglasses. We, there is room to get more than one stimulus check in this recon. There is room to get this recon to 1.76 or 1.78. No one in this group ever said it's exactly 1.75. And the pay force, which I haven't done a lot about, one viewer asked me a very good question about this in the live chat last night. How to pay for the recon? It's changed three times in five days. Yeah, corporate taxes, gone. It's not in there anymore. Other provisions, gone. The wealth tax, the tax on Elon. The Elon tax, gone. Uh, the, the Bezos tax, gone. 
those provisions could come back in there. They put them back in there, then you'll raise more money, then we got more stimulus checks, a lot of details across the board. And that is why you want to stay with me. Also stay with me because maybe the costumes are really good. Uh, coming up next is Evening's LA. It's in two hours from now. I don't know if the costume's going to change. But boy, the news cycle is changing. And then at 6 o'clock is Evening's Countdown, a big show. Last night's Evening count, evening Show is a huge one. It's Evening's Countdown tonight. Then we got Street and Stimulus at 7 o'clock tonight. It is not your normal Street and Stimulus. It is a recent video from just a few days ago. So Street and Stimulus, Evening's Countdown, and Evening's LA is a three-hour binge block. Sit back, eat the candy, enjoy me, and enjoy the treats. <laughs> <laughs> no tricks. Then we go into Soloin. And yes, you have a doubleheader Soloin in Rome today and back in the United States. So with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want your father's incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, because I was able to at least keep the earpiece out of uh, camera range most of the video. And also, uh, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. I know you wanted me to dress up like a cow. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not dressing up as a crayon. I'm not dressing up as purple Gumby. You know, I call them. There's a, there's a red line for Bernie, and there's a red line for me as well. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with that life for more.